That means once that thing's rolling, I can't say that word anymore, no? No, you can't be nasty in our videos. Listen, everybody thought it was a big hit. We ran a video of the two as-is machines we were selling, so we figured, you know what, maybe we'll do another video. We have a very rare Exidy Crash right here. We took this in trade. Actually, still worked. It looks like the guy repainted the black here, but this will have to be repainted and made beautiful again. But it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous picture. Look at that. And it seems to be in fine order. Somebody put a free play button in it. And this loads the game in. And if you've never played Crash before, it's really terrific. I have the color version of this head-on made by Sega. What you have to do is drive around the course and get all the dots. Now that shitty little car is programmed. See how quick he changed lanes? So you have to be very careful. Because he will do everything he can to hit you. See? Like that. It's nerve-wracking. And it's a great game. And it is working nice. The monitor glass here is in beautiful shape. Okay, so we figured if somebody wants to take a chance at this, Walt, do you have that flashlight for us, baby? Okay, let's show you what's back here. Now, the good news is somebody has installed a new style power supply. So it does have the power supply to give it some stable voltage rather than that rotten one. That could have saved the game. Could be why it's still working. Here's the original logic board and sound board. It could use and use a new capacitor. And look, somebody has put in a whopping sounds pumps 20 ounce magnet speaker for super high fidelity. <laughs> and it's got a 19 inch television. Did I say television? I did. Now look up here, up, uh, Walt, go back and get me some 12 volt bulbs. Uh, the, uh, with the, the, the bayonet base ones. And we'll stick that in it. Yeah, 1893s. You know what? We'll put them in there because I'm willing to bet. Would you say they're 12 volts? I don't know. Yeah. I would say they're. I, usually they are. Well, you're pulling out. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pull black. It out, pull See, it out. Typically, you know what somebody does is they put in a 550, a 44. See how black that is? I bet you somebody put a 44 in it, and it got super bright. Now we'll need restoration. The original vinyl on the side is shot. That'll have to be peeled off, and then this could get a, hot, a, a coat of high gloss uh, white. It'll be beautiful again. Control panel, nobody's going to make that. That will need a, a somebody to go through and touch it up. But look, oh, I, you know what? I forgot it had this. Crash had the bubble in here. See, this isn't flat monitor glass. It's really clever. So the logo here that lights up, as you will soon see, is very sharp. It lights up pretty nice. And this will be a nice project. There's the price. We will ship this. I can put it on a pallet and ship it anywhere in the country. The cost will run between $250 and $350. Depends on what part of the country you live in. If you're in California, it's $350. But it'll come right to your curb. We will actually pallet it on a wooden pallet and ship it. I can ship it overseas, but baby, you're at $600. I also don't want to get involved converting it to the uh, other voltage. Actually, I'll, I'll convert it. I'll convert it for that price. But for 500 it is as is, where is. I'm not going to do anything else to it, but once again, where is that boy? Where is it? Ah, here comes that lad. I'll tell you what. While we put the bulbs in, why don't we uh, show... Oh, 1893. 1893. Let's see. Good year. Let's see. It's a good year. Yep, there we go. How many did you bring? Isn't he great? Why is he great? Now, why don't you show him? Well, that is a 44. Did you see? That was super bright. 
That we got mixed Super in bright. Supwa. Can you play it while you're doing that? Yes, you may. Oh, okay. gosh, Kurt, Kurt loves this game. Okay, put them back in the 1893s and put this into the 44. You see? Look. They look the same, but if you look inside, the 6 volt bulb is jumpered. It, see how the filament goes straight across? The jumper right like that? The jumper. That right there, you mean? See, they're hiding these symbols in these videos now. Did you see that Tony did that in that Secret Service? Or Secret, no, Special Force, Special Force. What did he do? Yes, he did. Right. Now, this bulb oh, here, so pointing to that bulb right there, see that? it goes up, you see that bulb right there, you see that bulb right there. Yeah, on this one here, this right it jumps here? up and goes over. <laughs> so here? it's like a U. <laughs> it's, right there. it's like right here. You see this we'll bulb right here. here. Well, how about that? Here, fat. <laughs> All right, that's the 12 volt, that's the 44, the second. Okay, anyway, I, I want to show you an arcade. Frank went with his family down the shore to Sea Isle City. Seaside Heights. Seaside Heights. Come on, get it right. Seaside Heights, Sea Isle City, New Jersey. There's a wonderful new flat rate arcade that just opened, and she's doing it all herself. She's right on the boardwalk. Let's go to that video. Say hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Remember me? Remember me? <laughs> this is Lisa's arcade. We're down here popping and saying hello. How cool is that? See that? So maybe even he'll put maybe he'll even put this up on his video for you, one of his videos. Okay. We got all these classic games. You got Galaga, Miss Pac-Man to open it up. Mario Brothers, Robotron, Fantastic King, get out of the way. Asteroids, Centipede, Bad Dude, Zaxxon, Simpsons, a couple of classic pinballs, Hook, Time Machine, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Quarterback, Tekken 3 is resting today. X-Men versus Street Fighter, Congo Bongo, Street Fighter 2, Class of 81, Track and Field, Mr. Do, Frogger, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers. Looks good though. I wish you a lot of luck. Everybody's got to come down and say hello, play a few games. Yes. Look at this guy here. You've been here for a couple hours now, right? Hi, Tom! <laughs> support your classics. They won't be around unless you support them. And these games are all in great shape, too. Very nice. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Say hi, Todd, Ethan. Hi, Todd. <laughs> okay, say bye-bye. See you later. Bye, Todd. Say bye-bye. Hey, pretty good, huh? And she's just above the casino pier. Just above the casino. About one block up. Very close. You'll have a wonderful time. Okay. Hey, that looks nice. We've had, uh, probably had this, Frank, how many, about a week in the showroom. People have been playing it for parties. They really like it. So it's a lot of fun. A chance for you to grab a game and you can restore yourself. At least you know the power supply is new and it's working great. Um, give us a call at this number. Uh, okay and we can uh, sell it to you. Uh, I will mark it sold, obviously, the video, if somebody does end up buying it. And, and now here's that information about the arcade. Good night. Now, clear out! <laughs>